اوز بلّہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آل پروفیسر ٹیچر اسٹوڈنٹس آرگنائزر اینڈ دا ویٹ اینڈ گیسٹ آل اوور دا ورلڈ پلیز ایکسیپٹ مائی ریکارڈ آئی وش آئی ول بی دیر ویلکم ٹو یو گائے اسپیشلی فار انٹرنیشنل گیسٹ بٹ پلیز ایکسیپٹ مائی اپالوجائز ڈیو ٹو سم ریزن آئی کین نٹ میک اٹ ہوپ یو ہیو ونڈرفل ٹائم ایٹ ال ہاؤ لیٹس start the subject i have evidence based medicine what is the evidence based medicine why i'm forcing this one evidence based medicine because this is a very important subject for in human medicine as well as in veterinary medicine if you know what you are treating on your patient that will give the most benefit the patient owner and as well as your practice also if you are treating without any evidence there's a risk factor for the patient also the patient may be go worse or maybe go better it's very hard to say uh, without evidence of medicine this is the quality of medicine right now we using in usa or all the advanced country and i really appreciate i want to see that this same evidence based medicine apply in my country in pakistan also The evidence-based medicine is the use of the most current best evidence making the decision regarding the treatment of specific patient is known as evidence-based medicine. Evidence-based medicine combines the best available research data with the clinical experience and patient value and other factors. The most important factor in evidence-based medicine is the physician clinical experience. If you have very good clinical experience, then you will diagnose a disease within one minute. If you don't have a clinical experience and you don't know what are you treating, then it's very difficult. The clinical experience is most crucial part in evidence-based medicine. Most of the time, whenever I have a client coming in my hospital, I have the vet student working with me, I have like a, my tech working with me, they go in the room, they take all the history and everything, and then they come back and they will explain me what's going on. And to be very honest, I discuss with my student also. And whatever I tell them, this patient maybe has this disease. Let's do this test. Most of the time, 99%, 85%, whatever we discuss is coming same thing, whatever the test. So the clinical experience is most important to diagnose the disease. Uh, this is the patient. Uh, I don't need to explain like a lot of things because I have only 15 minutes to to go over a lot of things with you guys, okay? This patient has like a clinical sign. If you look mm-hmm. on this one, it's a very clinical ulcer. That's called rodent ulcer. Sometimes the board, the AVM, and they also cause this question. The treatment is very simple. There's no need for a lot of diagnostic tests for this type of disease. If you have a clinical experience and if you see the disease before, you don't to hesitate to say the client, oh, this is a rodent ulcer. And the treatment is very easy. This like a, we give like a two injection is a broad spectrum injection is remain in the body like a two week dapomedral steroid injection. And after two weeks, the giving the injection, the ref, okay. one side is completely healed up. The other side has a little bit also left, but hopefully after the second injection, it will be go away. This is a very interesting case, which I like to discuss. I just see this case on March 10th. Uh, How long you were sick? I'd say since like the first of the year. Uh-huh. Like you, almost like, the, like December, like January first. Almost like a two month is it? Mm-hmm. On and off. On like and the, off, yeah. Like she would seem to get better, and then it would get worse. Like she'd have a few days good, and then she'd start throwing up again or have diarrhea again, and then. She would be like lethargic. It's been pretty bad. The lot, like she won't eat at all this past week. Uh-huh. Um, she got really sick, like threw up seven times on Friday. This patient is sick for like almost like a two and a half month, or maybe more than like a uh, almost like a three month, according to the owner. They go their visit to their uh, regular vet. Diarrhea, vomiting, on and off, and the last four or five days is very weak. Uh, not eating anything. Of course, you go like his regular vet, like at least like a two and a half month. They are just treating the symptom. 
they don't know what are they treating finally they coming for second opinion to our hospital after checking all the clinical sign all the symptom i tell the owner we like to do only one test that's called lap leptospirosis test the owner say why you want to do this test i said listen all the clinical sign whatever i'm looking right now is all the clinical sign most of the clinic sign this patient has and i like to do only one test okay to see what's going on okay the owner said that's okay that's fine when we check the test this patient is positive with the leptospirosis the leptospirosis is a zoonotic problem is a life threatening case in human being also sometime in human you will see it transfer to dog to human also with whenever the animal whenever you touch the urine of the animal sometime if you have a cut or anything wound on your hand you can contaminate you can get also that disease sometime the sign in human is very mild like a flu like sometime the sign is very severe the organ failure even the death so i highly appreciate all the veterinarian who are practicing in pakistan force this one vaccination is the only solution to prevent the disease vaccination is very important in this case and the drug of choice is the doxycycline the drug of choice this one and plus of course we get anti nausea medicine also but keep in mind whenever i see this case before i go in the room i tell my technician my student please wear the gloves because this is a highly contagious disease this is all the notes you can read like all or whatever we write on in uh, usa this is like a subjective what are the history objective whatever we see assessment whatever we see planning whatever we did the planning i just write on give like screenshot of my notes so you have like a student or the professor you can see this one also this is a treatment chart because last time the lot of student they say sir what are you treating you can read all my treatment treatment whatever you give for this patient this is another very interesting case okay the maggi it was sick panting not feeling good feeling a lot of pain did not sleep very well uh the owner go to his regular vet they check everything they check the blood work everything and after that they say maybe the patient has uti urinary tract infection they did ultrasound they also find that they have like liver nodules but after giving 5 7 days medicine the patient does not feel very well then finally he go to the emergency hospital like a 24 hour emergency hospital and because the patient did not sleep all night and the owner is also very upset and when they go to the emergency hospital they check everything they say oh look like this patient has like a something like a nervous degenerative disease okay they give the pain medicine and also for the nerve pain nerve pain medicine also but the patient still did not feel very well after two after two days or something like is one of uh, my client his friend and my client say why not you go to the north east, east windsor animal hospital maybe my vet can help you when they coming in my hospital when they explain everything believe me within 4 or 5 minutes i say this dog has something like a tick bone disease let me check this test let me check the blood work and let's see what's going on okay the owner say okay go ahead when we check the test this test is coming positive with the e canis e canis is also like a tick bone disease and also anaplasmosis both are the tick bone disease okay when we check his blood work is all the liver values high when i see the glucose is also very high then i feel why is painting why is not doing very well because the patient also has the diabetes and plus the patient suffering a lot of pain because due to this disease e canis and anaplasmosis they cause like a lot of pain all the tick bone disease in human and the dog or pet they are treatable but is not a curable 100% keep in mind these are also the board question they are treatable but not 100% curable if sometime if they coming like e canis one time positive they will be positive for the rest of the life whenever the dog become lethargic depressed the disease come back again and you need to repeat the course of treatment again of course we check his other blood work also we check his urine also to make sure doesn't have diabetic ketosis everything and these are the treatment chart 
or whatever we give the treatment uh, for the pain medicine, doxycycline, uh, liver supplements, support the liver and insulin also. And also, of course, we send over the anti nausea medicine also. These are the medical notes you can read like later on whenever you have a time uh, for the students. And also, these are the treatment. Uh, I, I cannot go like uh, all this treatment because I have only like a few minutes left more. Uh, the doxycycline is a drug of choice, all the tick bone disease. And these insulin is for the human insulin. These are the generic, these are much cheaper. I like this one. I send home with this medicine, uh, this insulin. These are the FDA approved for the dog and cat, but it's very expensive. Wet solin is also very expensive. If you look this conversation about the Maggie. This is a story about Maggie. I got Penny, whatever, son, and I got Leonidas over there. Maggie had issues with, uh, she was crying a couple days in fall. And when I went to my regular vet and she got diagnosed with nodules on her liver, spleen, and she had a uh, urine infection. And uh, she gave me some antibiotics and a painkiller. And she told me if it gets worse, then uh, just bring her to the hospital. So by, um, I mean, she's crying day and night. And by Tuesday, something like that, Wednesday, I went to uh, North Vet Hospital in Robbinsville. And uh, after four or five hours, they told me she had a chronic degenerate nervous system, which I found ridiculous. And they gave me painkillers and sent me home. And still crying. Then Thursday, my colleague said, uh, why don't you try East Windsor Hospital? He goes, they might help you out. So, uh, I mean, when you don't sleep 24 hours for 10 days, me and her are trying to uh, calm her down. I, bring, I brought it to East Windsor Hospital, and uh, my first impression was <laughs> I saw a picture of uh, Dr. Rashid with a lion. So, uh, uh, this is the Lion King doctor, so I think he can take care of her. And it only, it only took him like five minutes to tell me she's got Lyme disease, the way she walks um, and the way she's acting. She's all in pain. So he did a test blood work. He goes, I'll do a full spectrum of the blood work. And he uh, comes back, he goes, definitely Lyme disease, and she's diabetic. That was a shocker to me, that nobody could pick up that. And, uh, and, he, and he said that this is common. Okay, this is a... Eva. This is Ava. She had renal carcinoma two years ago. She had um, one kid. I removed this kidney like a left kidney, and it's still doing very well. This renal cell carcinoma, I know some of the uh, professor medicines, humans is also sitting here. Renal cell carcinoma is very aggressive tumor in human and as well as in a pet, but without any chemotherapy, anything is still doing very well. We're using some alternate medicine. It's experiment medicine we are giving right now, a special Chinese herbal medicine. Uh, I like to show like a, some couple of things, but I don't have like a too much time right now. I have like only like a four minutes. This is like abscess. This is so we also did like a root canal, everything, but the clindamycin is my favorite drug in case of the teeth abscess. Uh, this is another very interesting case. Uh, this patient, uh, when came in our hospital from the other hospital, and he has like a big tumor. They did ultrasound everything. When we took the x-ray, the patient collapsed. Then we stabilized the patient. And after stabilized, I told the owner, we need to remove this tumor right now. Otherwise, it's very difficult to save his life. And of course, we took the x-ray and we see the big tumor here with a spleen has a big tumor. And when we took the I just want to go forward a little bit more. Dropping up Even with the during surgery, the tumor is already ruptured from this area. 
if you look like a, I just want to go forward. It's a very nasty tumor, like a, almost like a 10 centimeter. This is after like a three hour, start eating food very well. Good. The end point is there. If you know what are you treating, that's the best thing for the patient and for the owner also. But if you are doing without any evidence, then it's very difficult for the client and for the patient also. Sometimes they're suffering a lot of pain. Same thing, I see the patient, the Maggie owner, believe me, when I tell in the room, this dog has like a positive with a Lyme disease and plus also had the diabetes. He was crying on the tape, on the exam room. My technician, my student always witnessed this thing. He was crying on the room, okay. He said, my dog is suffering at least like a 10 days, 12 days. No one pick up this one, okay. And I really appreciate, I know uh, in Pakistan, is very we have very limited facilities and everything but still if anyone sitting government or uh, anything like a uh, member or something like this is my message please we are the veterinarian we play a key role in the economy in any country and also we also take care of the pet health and as well as the, as well as human health also the veterinarian working in pakistan in education, in field, livestock, wildlife, they are working very hard with limited facility. They're doing their best. They need at least appreciate. Please appreciate them, their services. And I hope uh, I go like a very fast. I'm sorry for that because we have only time limit. I have only like a one minute left and that's it. If you have any other question, concern, please uh, let me know. I can answer your question maybe later on, or maybe you can uh, text uh, Professor Dr. Anila Durani, and he maybe convey me any uh, question from the students or teacher or professor, whatever you have in your brain, please let me know. Uh, thank you for uh, watching this presentation. I'm sorry, I go very fast. If someone does not understand, I apologize for that. Thank you and have a wonderful day.